Hey all y'all, it's Jocelyn here with the Queer Ass Trailer Trash Channel, and today I am going to be installing a RV outlet into this power shack here so that I can plug my RV power into this wall and have all the juice I need. Now it was done before, but previously it was using 14 gauge wire, which is not the appropriate gauge. That's for 15 amp. Uh, and this is a 30 amp, so we need a 10 gauge wire. So this is a 10 three wire, as there is one, two, three conductive wires, and that is one too many. So I'm just not gonna be using this red wire today. I'm just gonna put a cap on that. And, uh, ta-da, here we go. It's like it's not even there. So to start with, we are gonna take our box. We got the wire coming through the wall. I had to take this box off. It was glued in. It was a nuisance. Oh, got ahead of myself. Gotta take my morets off. It's called a moret. Now we got our box in there. I got some dead blackberries in the way. Let's get that out of, that. Out of my business. Line that back up with the holes that it used to use. You don't want to over tighten those screws because it's got little plastic tabs and those will just snap. So, just until it's snug. Good. Okay, so now put my hat back on this guy. There you go. Needs a little screw right on there so you get a nice snug fit. Take our handy dandy wire strippers. Find our gauge, it's 10 gauge. That's uh, the biggest one this set has. So, just, ta-da. I used to strip all my wires with just an Ulfa knife and that sucked. Get one of these, save your life, at least Save your life from a million additional hours of frustration that are unnecessary. Got about six inches coming out to play with, so I'm not going to be stressing too much about length. Uh, and to start with, we are going to take our ground wire, which is this bare copper wire, and it is going to wrap around this green ground screw. And that just hold in place by screwing it down like that. Great. No problem. Sometimes that is a problem, but it wasn't today. And then we have our uh, 30 amp RV outlet, and this is old obviously, that's why there's some corrosion on it, but there isn't any sort of issues with the plugs or there's no signs of melting or shorting out. So we're just gonna reuse it. Uh, and we have white labeled here, green, and green is ground. So that's this one. Uh, white is our neutral, which is right here. And black is this one in the center. It's not labeled, but it's the only one that's left. So it's gonna go in there. We just do little dance of putting them all into their respective spots.
Okay. Now, the most challenging part, getting it all to fit. Well, not so bad. There we go. Just stupendous. Get your holes kind of lined up. Roughly good enough-ish. Appropriate screwdriver. So that we can now take our outdoor cap. Oh, look. Sorry, bug. My apologies, but I need to access these screws. Pops on top of that like that. And if I did it right, Now, fairly certain the end of this is magnetic. That's a real handy thing to have. Magnetic tick screwdriver. says it's gone in but it doesn't seem to be biting at all oh well now I'll need to find one final one for down there because for some reason there was only three of these when I took it apart Okay, so here we are inside the uh, power room. And start with, I'm just gonna put my little wire collar around down the bottom here. Good, good. That will keep. Thanks for rubbing. Good, great, grand. Bring our lines down again so we can get at them. Once again, we just need the white and the black. Leave the red alone. As you can see, we got a couple of different bars in here. Got this bar here running along, and this is our neutral bar. So that's gonna be where we connect our white to. This here bar is our ground bar, so that'll be where we connect our copper one to. And then this here is our breaker. And I've used fuse a few times maybe, but whenever I use fuse, I mean breaker, because that's some antiquated technology. So with that, all you gotta do pop it in there, screw the set screw down. And to get this to fit, there's a little lip here, there's a little lip here. And so this is off, this panel is all off. So safety, 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 always first and forever. There you go, so now that's in there, 30 amps. That's what we want. I'm just going to make this a little shorter. That's when I had it jammed in there. See more of it sticking out than I wanted. So, 
find our appropriate screwdriver. Pop that in there. And tighten that screw down. Just so you pull on it, it's not gonna pop out. Cool, great, grand. Wire back in here where it belongs. Now we can take our ground wire, pop that through one of these holes here. Don't need to go that far through. Tighten that down. Make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Now we take our final wire. Find a spot for that to live. Oh, cold, stiff electrical wire. Boom. Slide it through. Tighten it down. There you are. We have install. Ta-da!